there go. Everybody, welcome back to Leveling Up from the Inside. I'm coming at you with my five, not ten, five day update from my surgeries. Sorry if my hair looks a mess. It's kind of hard to get up in there to make it look normal, but I'm rocking my ponytail. Um, so uh, last time I posted, it was three days out. This morning, it's five days. Uh, I had my surgery on Monday. Today is Friday. Um, yesterday, I was probably the most sore that I've been of all the days, but I also stopped my heavy pain medication yesterday and um, I have some Tylenol with codeine that I had from my last surgery. So I just stopped taking the Oxy and took that last night and I took another one probably like 11 this morning just because I'm trying to get off of those. They kind of mess up my stomach a little bit. Um, plus, you know, you don't want to be on the Oxy stuff for too long. Um, bathroom wise i know people are always asking about the bathroom i was taking ducalax i took it the day after surgery and which was monday um tuesday um and i did go to the bathroom that night with the ducalax i didn't take it on wednesday um but i took it yesterday and i took it today and i do feel like i have to go so if i'm not feeling like I need to go by later this evening I'll try some smooth move tea and if that doesn't produce a, a movement by the end of the day then I'll probably take a ducalax tonight and hope that that does it because I, I need I need to poop for real you guys um so yeah it was a little more sore yesterday it was a little harder getting up and down um so I'm gonna kind of just move through all the different areas and kind of let you know how every thing is doing collectively and separately um so i'm gonna start with my legs so the first i had three separate procedures i had a medial thigh lift um an arm lift and a breast augmentation i did not have a breast lift just an augmentation so with my medial thigh lift um i'm wearing pants because i don't have any underwear so i'm gonna kind of show you from the side and try not to flash you um but i only have on like uh, ace bandages down here um he he didn't want to put a faha or any kind of panty thing on me because he didn't want me to have to strain to lift up because of my arms so he just wrapped them and i'm pretty thankful that they're wrapped like that because uh it just gives me a little more movement um i was instructed though for the first week to walk kind of like a duck walk and keep my legs together um i do have stitches like right right in my bikini line um and then you know obviously they run down all the way to the bottom of my knee this this one goes to about i want to say like right here and this one probably like down here um if you're new to my channel i had gastric sleeve surgery done april of 2019 so i after 100 pound weight loss i had a lot of loose skin and the reason my scar or yeah, my scar goes all the way down is because I had a lot of droop around my knee. So he took it down to really be able to take off a lot of that droopiness and extra skin I had even way down low. Um, so this, there's no drain tubes or anything. Um, the, the drainage stopped. First day it was pretty intense, kind of gross because, you know, every time you move, like you would feel that gush. That was kind of gross. Um, throughout Monday and Tuesday, I was draining by Wednesday, yesterday, not really draining anything. Oh, I took my first shower yesterday. Um, that felt awesome. I will say though, like once I took all the compression garments off, um, just like when I had my tummy tuck, I got really lightheaded and I had to, um, we were in my mom's bathroom. So I just kind of went on her bed and just kind of laid on it, you know, like this, um, and then drank some water and and got it back together and i don't know if it was just from the, all the compression coming off because that can happen or we also took off that top layer of bandages um that they put on you right when you have surgery so you know i was seeing some of them were still red or brown from the blood and i don't know if it was that that got to me um but i went from feeling fine to oh my god i'm gonna pass out right now um, but I do remember that that also happened to me when I had my first shower after my circumferential tummy tuck. Um, I also did get 
dizzy when I had my tummy tuck um, the morning after when the doctor unwrapped me and he said that that's normal. So if you're going to be having any kind of surgery like these where you have compression, just be mindful when you unwrap the first and even the second time to take a shower that you have help um, or that you can sit, you have some cold water in case you get dizzy because it can happen. Um, all right, so back to my legs. Um, I do have surgical tape on everything for some reason. I'm guessing just from sweatiness and moving around, the surgical tape in this area is all lifted. So I just cut it off because it was kind of hanging. Um, so that's all exposed. So every time I go to the bathroom, I make sure I wipe really well. And then I'll take a baby wipe and just clean it and wipe it off just to make sure it's clean. Um, when I showered yesterday, I used my Heavy Cleanse soap, which is the soap that you use prior to surgery. It's your antibacterial soap. Um, I'm going to continue to use that soap until my stitches and everything is as healed up as possible. Um, the doctor didn't say I needed to do that, but I can't imagine it's a bad idea to shower with that kind of soap versus like your regular smelly soap. Um, so this area was the most sore the first few days. Um, it was not really sore last night. It really only bothers me when I stand up and down. And I think that's just from the ACE bandages adjusting on the stitches. Um, so standing here, I'm aware of my stitches. I can kind of feel the areas a little more sore, but I'm not in any pain. Um, so that's good. I also did get some lipo really quick on the sides. I happened to mention to him when he was marking me up that I had these like thigh dips here and I was worried that they would get bigger when he pulled this in. And he's like, oh, don't worry, I'll just take care of it. So um, they still look like they're big, but it's from swelling because I, when I touch them, they're kind of sore. Um, I have been putting the Arnica gel um, and I did have kind of the beginnings of some bruising there um but i with the arnica gel like it's just went straight to yellow like it's not gotten black and blue or anything like that so there's that i got to use the arnica gel finally um so that is my legs so obviously i'm wearing a tummy tuck binder i did not get a tummy tuck i got a tummy tuck last time in november and the reason for this is because he also did some liposuction on my lower stomach, on my mons, and then a little bit on my hips. If you saw my pre-op video, I had mentioned that I had like these little fat pockets on my hips that looked weird and made me look like I had like love handle kind of thing going on. So he took care of that. Um, so that's the reason I have, so I have my binder on and it has the, the foam padding that you wear under that. So let me stick that back under. All right, so that is my tummy. Uh, with the tummy, you know, I haven't been really sore. You know, with lipo, when you get lipo, um, it's not so much pain, but it's like a burning that you feel. And I have gotten that burning, but it hasn't been too intense because I didn't get like, like with my tummy tuck, it was extensive lipo. Where this time, it's just kind of in different spots, so it's not so bad. Um, so moving on to my breasts. I got super lucky that I do not feel a lot of pain or discomfort. I know I, I'm on a couple of the plastic surgery groups and people have posted about having a lot of pain after a breast augmentation. I didn't have a lift. I just had a regular augmentation. I have not experienced any of that. However, it could be in part due to when I lost weight, my boobs got a lot smaller. So there was already a lot of skin tissue there uh, like at the ready to accept a, a implant versus having a small chest putting in an implant that's now stretching that skin I don't really have that so I don't know if that's why but I haven't really had any discomfort at all I do have stitches you know under the breast here no issue at all um, I, I thought it was going to be a little more sore because I do have this binder that's kind of close to that area and then I have this other thing um, but it's not really giving me any problems at all. So if you're having an augmentation and you, let's say you breastfed a few kids or you're just kind of getting them fluffed up again or refilled, hopefully you won't have, you know, any pain or discomfort. Um, at least this is my experience. I mean, like there's nothing, like no pain at all. 
And if you can kind of see, they are still kind of high. I'm not going to take my bra off. It's not that kind of video. Um, they are still kind of high, and you can kind of see that weird bump, like when you first get implants. So <clears throat> my doctor said that's normal, and they'll start dropping in the next couple weeks. But I'm very happy with them. Ooh, I keep looking at them. Yeah. Uh, so then the other area I had, and the one that's been the most sensitive, is my arm lift. If you saw my pre-op video, you know that I had a lot of flappy flaps going on down here. Um, the area, like, so my surgeon took, again, my stitches, like, way down to here. It goes all the way up, and then it comes down to about, like, I want to say, I don't know if you can see that in the video. Oh, no, that's the padding. To look about there where the padding ends. And he did that because from the weight loss, I had a lot of extra skin like under my arm it was like a big fat pocket so he took the incision line down a little further so he could pull that in and just give me a nicer silhouette right there which I totally appreciate and then that's this arm one issue that I did encounter with I mean if you can see it if they're wrapped under here there's like gauze and stuff under there <coughs> Excuse me, that is from the intubation. All of that is finally coming up, thank goodness. Um, <clears throat> when I ordered this garment for my arms, they go by measurements, obviously. So by my measurement before, I was like an extra large. So obviously I didn't get an extra large. I sized down and got a large. But when I put this on in his office without these wrappings, because I went to see him the morning after surgery, um, he said it was way too loose, so he wrapped it again um, and then put this on me. So these things are a little pricey, so I'm not sure if I'm going to buy a smaller one. Um, I'm going to ask him. I have an appointment with him on Tuesday of next week. That'll be my one week. And ask him if it's necessary to buy another one or if I can just keep it wrapped in like ace bandages or something. We'll see. Um, but my arms for sure have been of all the areas the most sore um, especially in this area where it folds right there um, and especially this arm more than this one it's just it's just a tough place to have stitches because your arm folds there uh, so I've had to be more careful with my arms and you know you can't raise them up too high I mean I can probably go like as far as this um, but if I try and do like this to Put my hair up or whatever that gets kind of painful so i don't do that too much obviously you can tell by my hair um however overall um i would say that i've been blessed and that my recovery has been pretty easy i have read some pretty scary posts from some of the people that had surgery around the time i did and unfortunately they're uncomfortable and and i feel so bad you know like you wish you had that secret healing thing or that one hint or that piece of advice that could make them feel better but I'm hoping that through my videos and the things that I share with you guys that it helps your journey um, other things you might need to know um, I've been sleeping in the recliner I have slept on the couch just because height wise it's the easiest for me to get in and out of um, but just to change position I slept in the recliner a couple days and that was nice um, my, my butt is not as happy just from sitting so much it's just mm -mm. so I've been trying out different pillows for that so I'm sure that has helped um, but overall my recovery has been going really well um, if you have any questions for me um, that you want me to cover I will you know post them down below and I'll cover them in the next video um, I'll try and do one around the time that I next shower which will probably be tomorrow so I showered yesterday so maybe tomorrow and show you what the what everything looks like it is still taped so like for my arms and stuff you're not really going to be able to see other anything other than the tape but you can at least see how far um like this one the stitches end kind of like right there so he did take it down pretty far um anyway so thank you for watching and i hope i gave you some advice and if you are on this journey i'm so excited for you don't be scared of it you are worth the investment and it's it's going to be awesome a couple days of yuckiness is totally totally worth it the way you know you got to be prepared got to make sure you have help 
don't forget your arnica i'll post the video i did about arnica i've been taking it religiously since i had my surgery um take care of yourself eat well take your vitamins and you will get through it so i will see everyone in a few days keep healing and leveling up bye bye